Everything else this man is about is completely toxic. Toxic. The man who beat the shit out of me in front of my wife was toxic. That's a dork. Turn off! Get in the cage, and I'll show you what toxic is. Your wife can watch. I'm somewhere at the back. This is Romania. We've got beautiful women around. It's gonna be like hot chicks around. She has to be in a burka or something. A burka? My wife has to wear a burka if she goes to Romania because she can't hang with all the the Romanian whores that you traffic for your webcam business? Oh my god, Andrew, that is nasty. Oh, you dog. Fuck it. You got you got me. Got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> All right, guys, for those of you who don't know, that is Andrew Tate. He's like a manosphere provocateur that crops up on the internet once in a while when a clip of him, you know, being absurd and demeaning towards women goes viral for a minute. He's like a budget Dan Bilzerian, but more desperate, if that's possible. I saw some fucking kid in the newspaper the other day. He can recite pi to 200 decimals. That's nice. But you look like a geek. So who gives a fuck? Because you ain't gonna get laid. You're gonna want the club He's interesting in his own right because he makes you wonder, like, is this dude for real? Is he this much of an aggressive piece of shit? Or is he just playing a character? Maybe he falls somewhere in between. You're a little fat boy. You can't be Tate. He's done the rounds on commentary channels. I made a video about him like over two years ago. My contemporaries made a video about him. Then about a year and a half ago, me and my friend, Mr. Gigi, we did like a live reaction to one of his, a couple of his videos just for fun. Uh, and that went on Mr. Gigi's channel. Hang in there, I'm getting you up to speed. Then at that time, he made a response video where he, it's like 50 minutes long. He just watches it and chats shit about me and Mr. Gigi the whole time and talk some shit about my wife. So of course I'm getting tweets and DMs from my viewers like, dude, you gotta check this video out. He talks shit about Mrs. Lush. So I go and click on it and I'm like, holy fuck, this is a 50 minute long video. There's not a single chance in hell I can withstand watching Andrew Tate for 15 minutes without necking myself. I'm a multi-millionaire. I fly on private jets. So I watched the first three minutes. It's him just blowing himself the whole time. Can't handle it. I check out the part that was linked to me where he like calls my wife an ogre or something, whatever. Like it's, you're gonna chat shit about me and Gigi, kind of a telling about your character as a man to bring someone's wife into it unprovoked, but totally expected from a dude like him. Fast forward like a year or more, and I see some pretty damning headlines about none other than Andrew Tate, about some pretty serious implications that we're gonna get into later. If you watched my original video, we go over like how apparently he made a lot of his money. He runs basically a brothel. He moved to Romania and he like, he just has brothels of like underprivileged girls he brings in and forces them to do webcam shows and he abuses them and makes a ton of money because all of the, you know, the dudes that pay money to the webcam girls, they take like a huge cut. It's pretty sadistic, right? But it's like, okay, maybe it's a legitimate business. Come to find out, eh, not really. Gonna get into that in a second. But first, I pull up TikTok today to check my notifications and I get multiple ats from people under in the comment section of a video from none other than Hustle Cobra aka Andrew Tate. It looks like he hired someone to just edit a bunch of short clips for TikTok, similar to what I do on my TikTok account. Uh, and a, a clip from the video he made about me and Gigi came up uh, and it just so happened to include my wife. And for whatever reason, it went viral. Like as I'm talking right now, it's at like 825,000 views for no reason, really. Everything else this man is about is completely toxic. Toxic. The man who beat the shit out of me in front of And that was a clip from the original response for you made a year and a half ago that I hadn't seen yet. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sit down and do the unthinkable. I'm going to sit through the entire 50 minute response video he made, which I know beyond a shadow of a doubt is going to be absolute fucking torture. And now sitting here at this desk, having watched it just a few hours ago, I can confirm it was fucking torture. And not because I give a wet shit about a single thing that comes out of this blowhard's mouth. It's just because he's so insufferable to listen to. It's just him ah, blowing himself the entire time. I am an extremely intelligent individual. So I want to touch on a few key points from that video with you guys and then fast forward to today and talk about the situation that Andrew is in right now, which is a little bit precarious. Fuck Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man's a pussy. Right. Something terrible has happened. I want all of you to know and I want all of you to understand something. I live a very good life. I am a multi-millionaire. I'm a retired professional athlete. I have 16 supercars. I live in this big ass mansion. Yeah, that's about as far as I made it when I tried to watch it a year and a half ago before I threw up in my mouth. And uh, so I'm just gonna skip through to a couple of points here. Buckle up. Big Daddy Tate is gonna waste 20 minutes of his fantastic life 
talking about this little fat girl and her uninteresting opinion. Well, it ended up being 50 minutes, not 20. More than double what he imagined because he's just so desperate at all times to convince everybody how fantastic his life is. Every single dig he makes in this video is dwarfed by the amount of time he spends just droning on and on about how incredible he is. I'm a beacon of knowledge. Do you understand that I've lived a life you could never possibly live? You could never have 75 cam girls in your house making you money, making you a multimillionaire. To be honest with you, Andrew, I don't want a single cam girl in my house. Nothing about that lifestyle interests me. And in fact, I'm curious as how you got 75 cam girls in your house. And if you stay tuned for a couple more minutes, we'll talk about maybe how, how you accomplished that. In my experience as a 37 year old man, the more and harder someone tries to convince you that their life is awesome, the more deeply insecure that they are. I just picture this dude like walking into a Romanian club and some guy being like, hey, Andrew, what's up? And he's like, fuck you, I'm rich. I drive 27 supercars. And the dude's like, uh, okay. I was I was just saying, hey, what's up? Shut up, pussy. You're not a retired MMA fighter. Okay, dude, I'm, I'm just gonna go back and sit with my friends. I'll, you know, have a good night. I live in a mansion. I drove a goddamn Bugatti to this club. Please, somebody love me. Because certainly your father didn't. <laughs> so why do they come for me? Well, the reason they come for a small channel like mine is because they know outside of YouTube, I'm the kind of guy they wish they were. An insecure, lonely sex trafficker that spends every breath trying to convince teenage boys online how cool his life is so he can scam them with $2,000 masterclasses that teach them how to be incels? You miss the mark. Just a little bit. Sure, I'm lonely and insecure too, but I, I don't monetize my audience by scamming them with $2,000 masterclasses. I just monetize with brand sponsorships. Which is why this video is brought to you by Raycon. So let's chat about that for a second, and then we'll get back to how awesome Andrew's life is until, well, recently. It's been almost three years since I partnered with Raycon, and their everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. The eight hours of playtime and 32 hour battery life gives me the freedom to listen to the audiobooks I love, watch the YouTube videos that I love, and listen to some metal while I'm pumping iron in the home gym without pissing off my wife. They are cozy, baby. Raycon went through countless design iterations to perfectly fit the curvature of the human here, big or small, so you get a comfortable fit, and I'm telling you, they do not budge. Oh, how do I know? Why don't you see for yourself? <laughs> like a glove. Each earbud has a single button control that allows you to control everything you need intuitively and seamlessly. You can even long press it to navigate through their three sound profiles to better suit the source audio. Like when I'm listening to some Kendrick Lamar, I go a little bassy. If I'm listening to a podcast or an audiobook, I go pure. These bad boys have it all, but they're only half the price of other premium brands which is probably why they have over 49,000 five-star reviews. So if you're ready for adult pair of wireless earbuds, give Raycon a shot. You can get 15% off your very own pair by using my link in the description box below. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush. Thank you, Raycon, for supporting YouTubers, and thank you guys for listening and supporting the channel through Raycon. I appreciate you. I live for you so that I can learn lessons to teach you. People like me, basically Jesus Christ, are beacons for lesser individuals like you so you can learn via my experience. So of course I'm right about everything. Of course I am. You're a little fat boy. You can't be Tate. So pay attention. I'm not kidding. It's like 50 minutes of that. <laughs> I'm biologically wired, hormonally wired to be better than you. And especially better than this is he still a girl or is he a boy? So I'm sure he exaggerates all the time for the sake of what he assumes is entertainment value, which I understand. So let's get into the insults here, can we? So, I mean, I'm not homophobic in any way, but I said the gayest thing that ever existed was buying a picture of a girl's tits. I'm gonna change that. The gayest thing that's ever existed is these two on a YouTube video. <laughs> He's not wrong, honestly. I would have been licking a crack of Gigi's ass if we weren't recording remotely, okay? Am I kidding? Who knows? All I know is that dudes that call everything gay in an attempt to like demean or belittle are usually the ones with the most suppressed homoerotic energy. Tate's like the homophobic conservative father that beats his son for expressing his sexuality only to find out later the same father has a secret grinder account he uses to link up with BBCs that will peg him into cheap motel. It's not gay if people don't find out. These dudes clearly struggle with women. I know they said Lush to sex toys married to a four. 
So, I mean, she, he's married to the kind of girl I reject. <laughs> so, of course, if he finds it offensive when I mention that, yeah, sex is important. So, as you'd expect, he spends the next, you know, 25 minutes continuing with the cheap insults and, you know, jerking himself off. Because they have low testosterone levels, he's doing that all over it. <laughs> he goes through my Instagram a bit at the time, which is whole. hilarious. I mean, this is him dressed as a tomato. Yeah, he, fi he finds... <laughs> I mean, this is the man telling... <laughs> he, he finds the picture of my... My origin story, <laughs> where I was birthed as a tomato. I knew how a man should act. This is the man telling a four-time kickboxing world champion multimillionaire how men act. That's right. He doesn't, he doesn't know the, the canon to that story, right? But imagine a man having a sense of humor. That would be terrible, right? I mean, when you spend all of your energy trying to convince, you know, little boys on the internet how incredible your life is, you don't have, a, you know, you don't have much energy left for anything else, to be honest. I know how losers think, I know what weaklings do. Of course they will not accept my challenge to unarmed combat, instead they're gonna try and report this video and make up some reason saying that I hurt their feelings, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes. Dude, uh, yes, my feelings are so hurt, first of all, devastating. And you know me, anytime someone talks shit about Leon Lush, I instantly report the video. Your existence is so insignificant to what matters in my life, this shit is comedy for me. <laughs> of course they will not accept my challenge to unarmed combat. His confidence must have been beaten down so brutally during his developmental years that his entire adult life is dedicated now. All of his energy is spent, A, sex trafficking, which we'll get into in a second, and B, trying to convince everybody that will listen that he is worthy. Bro, you are a clown and everybody watching knows you're a clown. You're entertaining. I'll give you that because the hyperbole, the bit that you do, it's like, oh, is this, is he really this pathetic or is he not? Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's funny for a second, right? But it's kind of sad. Dude, of course you would probably beat my ass in an octagon. You've spent your life fighting MMA. You're like a retired MMA fighter. The only time I get in fights is when I'm blessed enough to wake up with morning wood and my wife's not around. So I go nine rounds with my dick and beat the shit out of it. Oh my. I have nothing to prove. I am content with my life. I have a wife and a son that I love. And I find great joy and pride in being in a monogamous relationship with someone and building a bond that can last a lifetime and having a partner you can share your life and your experiences with. That is what brings me value. That is what I value. That is what brings me joy. I look at your high production videos of all these cam girls wearing thongs, you know, the Dan Bozerian shit, the supercars and the mansions. And I see sadness and emptiness. It literally, it makes me feel empathy for you. But then I have to check myself because I don't have empathy for you because you're a piece of shit. And I'll tell you why. As I was alluding to you guys earlier in this video, more recently in the last couple of months, there were some headlines about a police raid at his mansion in Romania. The title of this article is Police Raid MAGA King of Toxic Masculinity in Human Trafficking Investigation. The raid was prompted by reports that an American woman had been abducted. All of a sudden, that I have 75 cam models in my mansion line doesn't sound so cool anymore, does it? Did they want to be there? Or are you sex trafficking, bro? Romanian police raided the home of prominent pro-Trump online personality Andrew Tate this month as part of human trafficking investigation, bringing new attention to Tate's ties to leading figures in the American MAGA movement. Clearly, this particular news outlet is making it very political, but I'm curious about this line right here. Ready? This March, Britain's Daily Mirror tabloid profiled him and his brother Tristan Tate in the Romania-based business, which used webcam models to trick men into sending the brothers tens of thousands of dollars. In one video on his YouTube channel, Andrew Tate said, 40% of the reason he moved to Romania was because Romanian police were less likely to pursue sexual assault allegations. So you're a modern day pimp that instead of putting girls to work on the streets, put them to work in bedrooms with cam models because that's how technology is gone. And you live in Eastern Europe because it's easier to get away with sexually abusing the women that work for you. A Romanian newspaper reported that the raid was sparked over reports that an American woman was being held captive at the Tate House. Police found both the American and a Romanian woman in the building during the raid, according to the report. In a statement on the raid to the Daily Beast, a U.S. State Department spokesperson alluded to a reported abduction of an American citizen but declined to comment further. In a statement provided to the Daily Beast, Romania's Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism said the raid on the Tate's House was part of an investigation that began 
again after a woman was reported to be held at the house against her will. As the probe continued, it escalated to include crimes of human trafficking and rape. So looking back at the past half a decade at Andrew Tate's content, news like this really comes as no surprise. He uses the persona of the alpha male to prey on the insecurities of young men and get them to follow him and stand him. And then he sells them courses on how to make money and fucking run an OnlyFans business. If you watch my original video, he used to sell, he had like 15 different courses he was selling for like 1500 bucks, complete nonsense. And people would buy that shit. He still has a website called Hustlers University 2.0. He's still doing it. If you're feeling insecure about your manhood, you can pay Andrew Tate 50 bucks a month to learn how to start a sex trafficking ring in an Eastern European country. Listen, you might be running from the law for the rest of your life, but the money's decent, right? I mean, the girls, their lives will be ruined, but we don't have to talk about that. This guy is a scam artist and a bigot that preys on young men's insecurities and has made wealth by abusing women in sex trafficking in a foreign country. Not a single word that ever comes out of that scumbag's mouth about me, my friends, my family could ever affect me negatively because he is already lost at life. He's a grifter and a piece of shit and he's entertaining at times, but when I watch him, it makes me so thankful for the life that I have. And to think, all of this was prompted because he uploaded a fucking 13 second TikTok clip and somebody added me. You just never know what's going to happen when you're making videos on the internet. I appreciate you guys for watching. You know, I don't take your time for granted. And uh, man, I can't wait to see you in the next video. This has been fun. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.